Howdy folks, it's uh, John from the Jersey Shore. Um, I just wanted to show you a product that I'm trying out here um, from Tygo Energy. Um, it's a it's a optimizer, solar optimizer. Um, sort of like Enphase, but it works with the Outback inverters or, or any kind of uh, inverter just to help boost up the power. And you have, I have them uh, one unit per module, and um, there are, I got 12 of them. So there's one on the back of this Kyocera, uh this Kyocera, this Kyocera, this Kyocera. Uh, that Kyocera and that Kyocera and up here on the roof we got the two Kyoceras on each side of the uh, Trinity solar panel that one isn't connected right now um, so here's my homemade rack that I can adjust Right now, I, th I find that to be a good angle right there. Alright, and um, also... Sorry. Uh, on the back of these two Renegies, I have another two optimizers. Um, as far as the panels go, um, give you a reading on them. Those are the 250s, the RNG uh, 250Ds, and they're uh, monocrystalline, and um, they're just, it's hard to see here, but hang on. Ugh. That's them right there. on each side of my chimney there and I really gotta trim all that stuff back when I get a chance but I don't think it's affecting anything right now and they do and they do just as good as the Kyrus ears in my opinion alright so to really get a good glimpse of this the ones on the garage roof but Let's see here yeah so the oddball in the middle isn't connected right now um just because it's an odd number of uh panels uh, I do have these tied in series because that's the idea with these they uh, you could tie them in series but they act as an individual module and it's cool because if one shaded it kind of opens up a tunnel so it doesn't um, affect any of the other panels and uh, right now I have them tied in a series of four but I believe I have to uh, rewire them in series of uh, three or two um, because um, I'll actually show you in the other room what's going on. All right. Okay. Um, I will show you the other part of it. Oh, sorry. Um, so anyways, this is the communication um module here you can see all the little blinking lights on there that actually talks wirelessly wirelessly to all the all 12 of those optimizers um and then i have a uh this is a um, sprinkler line i think it's like 18 
gauge or uh, something of that effect. Um, and it go it ties into there. It's a little uh, like thermostat wire almost. Um, little terminal that's in here. And I got that just, just laying right now. This is just temporary temporary setup. I just have this laying across and it goes all the way uh, to the solar closet. So uh, next I'll uh, show you the solar closet. Alrighty. Okay folks, we're here on the uh, other end of the operation here in the uh, solar closet. It's the Tygo unit which um, it's kind of like the in-phase envoy system. Um, you can actually put this on out on the outside of your house if you wanted to. It's sealed up pretty nice, and it's got a safety uh, button here. You hit that button, it turns off everything, which is really really nice. And uh, it tells you uh, each string how much you're. Uh, you're making. Uh, keep in mind it's like um, two o'clock in the afternoon or, or actually around three o'clock in the afternoon so it's um, the sun's kinda in a weird spot so um, plus it's fall so sun's lower so I'm not making as much as I would in the summer. But that, that tells you uh, what I'm making on each string of four. So I got string O, string M, string N, string O. So it just flashes back and forth. And it's got menus and this and that. There's, there's not, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's nothing no crazy settings or anything it's just plug and play really and you let it do its thing and the reason I know this is working it's working damn good is I never had this event light on before and the event light means that I'm gonna hit it and I'm sorry for the dark in here turn that on um, and this has been going on lately. Uh, I've been getting the fault. Sorry about that. That it exceeds the maximum volts. So this charge controller can only handle 150, so when it gets close, it throws a fault. And that's why I gotta rewire it, because it's it's pumping the power in there, and it's a bit too much. So I'm gonna rewire them in either twos or threes. I'll try it with the threes first, and then maybe the twos. Um, so that is, the reason why I'm getting faults and I've been getting them for every every night for the past week or so. so. Alright, that's a little better. No glare. Um, we're looking at the Outback um, Optics RE right now and this is what it's doing. Uh, it's actually been a pretty good nice day today. Um, so that's what that looks like. Um, by the way, this is my, um, laptop tablet. It's a, a new addition to my, um, I just thought it was cool when I bought it. It's, it wasn't too expensive. Uh, it's window base. Um, I don't have anything window really. Uh, everything I usually have is Apple, but I, I wanted a window, and it's pretty cool because it's a laptop or a notebook. Pull that off, and it's a tablet. 
I think that's pretty cool. I always I always like hybrid type of things. It's pretty neat. So uh and it's got a USB which is which is what I was looking for. Uh, a couple other slots. HDMI and uh, I guess micro USB and probably uh, speak speaker port or headphone port. Um, and that's where the charger charger goes. It's a pretty neat little thing, and uh, the case if you close it, the case comes down, and it kind of it's magnetic. And there you go. Sorry for getting off top topic here, but uh, it's been a while since I made a video. So, anywho, um, that's the Optics RE on there on here, and um, this is Tygo, which is a pretty nice uh, setup too. Um, Kind of gives you graphs like like optics are used to do. Um, just uh, you know, year to date, it gives you all kinds of settings and stuff. Um, Here, see our panels. That's what I put in there. System ID. All right, and this is what this is what I wanted to kind of show you. It kind of records everything, what you're making, and all that stuff. But it's actually better on my phone because I get to. You get an app with your phone, and if you see, if you look, it tells you the wattage in each panel. And they actually sent me a, an email. They told me which panel did the best, and they say, uh, you know. what your performance is and everything and this is the way I have it set up and you can set you could set it up um, on your computer of how you uh, have it configured at all and uh, yeah this is this is how I have it and this panel right here the one on the end the one that's in the middle of the yard that one did, does the best the rest or that that's at that's more facing um, west, and uh, it's probably not angled too great. And there's trees back there, so you're getting blockage there. And uh, like right in the middle of the yard, that's the best spot. And over here is kind of, you know, I guess the garage kind of blocks all that. So I don't know. Um, I'm not too worried about it because if if all goes good, um, me and my wife are actually buying a piece of property. Um, it's 20 acres actually in the Pinelands. Um, we're gonna put a, a cabin on it. But um, so this is this is all gonna come out and it's gonna go. Um, on my other piece of property and we're actually uh, kinda under contract right now we gotta get all kinds of uh, Pineland um, um, permission and all this stuff to build and and all this stuff so we gotta we're just crossing our fingers and uh, you know I, I kinda need the, the bigger property she likes to garden hunt and I like to do my solar projects and other projects and whatnot, so uh, I think it'll be for the better. And um, 
yeah um hope all hope all is well with everybody um happy thanksgiving and um thanks for tuning in and hopefully this video isn't too boring um i got a few other pro projects that i'm doing um that I'm gonna shoot it, try to shoot a video. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.